Hey guys, Mushroom Gecko here. Uh, why am I standing in a third person? Cause I have a cape. I ha well, it's not really a cape. Uh, well, I tried my best to make capes in vanilla Minecraft. It really was not easy trying to find like rotation values and doing all this other stuff. So uh, that's why I have this like this whole clock here. Don't worry, this really is not a lot of command blocks. It's really only three, but uh, I'm just repeating it multiple times. Uh, don't don't mind the baby zombie. Well, I'm just, I'm just punching you. I'm just punching you, bro. High five! 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 High five. High five. I killed you. Okay, so I actually tried my best to make a cape in Minecraft. Uh, it, it's decent. We, um, I actually got in uh, touch with a Mojang person. Uh, I think it was Dinnerbone. Uh, he, I asked him, "Can uh, is there a way you can make banners into capes? Like, can you like put them on your body and make capes?" He responded back saying, "Well, banners are special." Uh, only for like Minecon people, like people who go to Minecon, it's uh, it's only special like that. So um, so I took that as a challenge. Like, all right, no problem. So uh, I I made this. I, I made I tried to make capes. Uh, not really the best cape, but it's something. Hang on, time set day. And I also made a pirate ship, but I need to pause and change the command blocks real quick. But uh, first. Let me get into first person, and let me show you the command blocks. Uh, as you see, like my little cape, uh, it just like follows me around and stuff. It's really cool. All right, um, now with the new armor stand added, let me get that out. Uh, armor stand. So uh, this is the new armor stand. So, oh, I shouldn't have done that. All right, hang on. Um, Slash kill at e type equals uh, equals armor stand. Yep. There we go. All right. So um, really quick, let me break the clock. Okay, that's a lot better. It's not laggy anymore. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, if the video is laggy, I really apologize. Um. I've not fixed the lag yet, uh, but I will soon, trust me. This is probably going to be the last video, or one of the last videos where it's like really laggy like this. Alright, so uh, as I was saying, this is the new armor stand. You can uh, take armor, so let me, let's say like diamond. Uh, you can like put it on as like something to hold your armor, which is really cool. So like um you can you can actually like troll your friends or whatever. And uh yeah, like say, Oh my gosh, there's Hero Grind, go like kill him. Or run for your life or something, I don't know. So you like uh you can do some pretty neat things with this and uh, that's exactly what I did right here. So let me clear my inventory. Alright. First command block we have here. Uh we are first teleporting an armor stand to the nearest player. Alright? Now the reason why you can't uh, see the armor stand is because it's invisible and I don't get to that soon. Uh, and then we're going to teleport the armor stand one block uh, below, like, one block below where it is. So, uh, because, like, um, alright, hang on, let me get the TV. Alright, because, um, if, if, like, uh, if it's not underground, at least halfway, uh, it will show as it's, uh, as it's like, uh, as it's, as it's, as it's like on my head, like you can, uh, like now. It will appear as if it's on my head. So, um, you do negative one, which, uh, puts it below. So, uh, the next one, or the last one we have here, we are teleporting the armor stand 180 degrees. Now, the reason why I did that is because, um, when I had the, um, oh, and with the armor stand, or with the banners, uh, able to put on your head, I, uh, did that for the armor stand, so I'm gonna explain what the rotation thing is. But I made it rotate, because, like, uh, when I first teleported it to me, the banner, 
would not show the front end. It would only show like um, it would show the back end. So I teleported it 180 degrees so it would um, show the front end instead of the back end. So uh, yeah, that's those three command blocks. And uh, let me show you these two right here. So first we're going to summon an armor stand right above this command block that's small and invisible. Let me take away this invisible right here so I can show you like what the small is. So uh, let me get this. So yeah, this is a value to make the armor stand small. So um, yeah, just neat little trick I learned on, uh, on a YouTuber's channel. Uh, let me just put the invisible back. Invisible. Uh, invisible. Simple. One. Okay. So, um, yeah, I learned how to make it small on another YouTuber's channel. So, uh, thank you for that. I forget the YouTuber, but, like, um, he showed us how to, like, make the armor stand small. But so thank you for that, whoever you are. Uh, this next one we have here is actually putting the armor, uh, the banner on the armor stand. So, um, we're going to replace the item entity. Uh, so we're going to replace an item on an entity, and that uh, entity is going to be armor stand. Um, and then where we want to place the banner is on uh, slot dot armor dot head, which is your head armor slot. And then this is the block or whatever you want on the thing's head. So uh, in this case, it would be a banner, and then the quantity, and then the color code. Uh, one is red for banners. So then uh, I made the little squares, and this is how I did it. Uh, the block entity tag for the banner. Uh, we're going to put patterns, and then we're going to have... And then uh, these are our different patterns. So we're going to make um, this pattern right here the um, uh, blue. And then uh, the type of pattern is uh, TR, which means top right. It's the square in the top right corner of the uh, banner. And we're just doing uh, the same thing here, except TL, which means top left. Now, um, this one right here, we have the color one, which is red. And then uh, the pattern CS, which is uh, um, center stripe. And I'm going to put a link in the description uh, into, uh, about like uh, these different values and how you can use them and stuff. So you can like make your own command block um, banner. So this is how I made my Mushroom Gecko banner to put on my... Uh, put on the um, the armor stand so uh, if I do this to summon him uh, the armor stand is right here just you can't see because it's invisible and then uh, we power this the banner is now on the armor stand so you yeah, see like my little logo or whatever for YouTube so, yeah, that's pretty cool um, so that's how you do that, and uh, I'll get back right at you guys soon to show you guys how to make, like, a pirate ship type thing. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, and I am back. Uh, right here we have a little pirate ship, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, I do not know why that is glitching out like that. Uh, I need to double check some code real quick. Um, everything seems to be right. Uh, don't know what's going on. Oh, because the armor stands are affected by gravity. Alright, so, um... Yeah, this is the little boat, uh, pirate ship. So, uh, if I just hop in, go into F5 real quick. As you can see, it is a little pirate ship, which is really cool, because, like, now you can have a flag on, like, a pirate ship of yours, and, like, people know like it's your ship or something so it's like really cool oh and if you uh and if you want to have this in multiplayer just change oops <laughs> that's pretty funny uh, break break okay hang on i think i have the kill command still in here yep all right so if you do want to have this in multiplayer just um just name the armor stand to whichever you want in the command block, like uh, custom name equals, say, Bob. And instead of teleporting just an armor stand to uh, the boat, teleport the name Bob to the boat or to your back or whatever you want. 
Uh, so if you want a cape, just teleport Bob to you. Uh, and if you want um, a boat ship thingy, teleport Bob to the boat. Uh, otherwise, just if you're in survival mode, just do armor stand. Anyways, uh, instead of uh, enough of me blabbering, let's get on with commands. Uh, I actually changed. I actually had to change a few commands. Uh, this one, it's the same as the app P, but except we're doing at E type of boat, so we're teleporting the uh, the armor stand to the boat. And then here, uh, instead of 180 degrees, we're doing it. We're doing it 90 degrees because. Um, hang on, I can't fly. Alright, um, so if we summon, so if we summon a boat, uh, apparently that, one of those things is the front, either that side or the other side, one of those is the front of the boat, and it's not this side, nor that side, it's one of these sides, I believe it's this side, so, uh, yeah, uh, do it 90 degrees instead of 180, because it works a lot better, um, so yeah, uh, we change that to 90, and then to this, uh, instead of having it be one block below the object, we are actually going to have it at its normal height. So like, uh, instead of teleporting it in the ground, we're going to have it like at the boat level, and not like below the boat. Because it looked kind of weird when I did it below the boat, so uh, if you guys want to see real quick, negative one, okay, um... here so if we like go over here if it is there uh, no it is not hang on let's see something real quick um okay here we go so uh, if we just like come over to, uh wait because i need to do it with all the other command blocks uh I, I i won't bother showing you guys but, um, I actually walked up the command blocks right here real quick, because, uh, like, it's bobbing up and down, because, like, one telling it to go underneath the boat, one telling it to go on top of the boat, so it just bobs up and down, so if you, like, you don't want that, sh double check your command blocks and see if everything's correct. So, yeah, um, that's the pirate ship, guys. Uh, I really hope you liked this video. Uh, this is 1.8, uh, as you see, infinite possibilities with this snapshot it is absolutely amazing how mojang added capes and then armor stands so you can like do stuff um i was gonna do a baby zombie at first before the armor stand came into play but um i just realized that they would just grow up and stuff and then i tried it with silver fish and then i realized oh they don't have an armor slot so um so once armor stands were introduced you can have them either be small or large, uh, and I'm not sure if I explained why the baby zombie I didn't use. I didn't use the baby zombie because it could grow up and then uh, mess up the whole thing, and then just like, um, and then like catch on fire and ruin the armor thing. And uh, if I teleport a baby zombie underground, it's just gonna suffocate. Uh, that is completely different with the armor stands. This is absolutely amazing, guys. I really love the snapshot. I really love how I can do capes now and pirate ships because honestly this is cool i love this and this is exactly how i was picturing it except without the bobbing so uh yeah hope you guys like this video uh like and comment and subscribe to my channel if you have not because uh, i do a lot of stuff like this so uh yeah love one to up to the mycelium mushroom have a good time club geckos and keep those gems shining everyone gecko out Boop. thank you guys for watching